That's, uh, my name's John Isaacs. I'm showing you this Milford 410 machine, which is uh, it's a slightly smaller machine than the R2000, which you're interested in, but the principle of it is exactly the same. And we decided we could do you a movie easier using this machine than uh, shoot one in America on the R2000. So if there's anything you don't understand or you want to see something specific, please tell us. But what I'll do is explain to you the principle of this machine and how it works and uh, the sort of jobs it can do. You can see how tall the machine is. This is, uh, uh, I'm about 1.8 metres tall, so you can see the machine's maybe, maybe 2 metres tall. The working area here is designed to be worked with somebody who's stood by it. And this area where I've got my hands, this is where the components are loaded in. Now this machine's set up on a brake shoe, but there's all kinds of components like this bracket here, you can rivet that. Then we have your components here. So this is the area where your components will fit in. This device here is a safety guard, and there's a little probe that comes on here which protects operators' fingers. We haven't got it fitted on this machine because this is a test and development machine. But that's an important safety device. What you have here, there may be some fixturing that will help hold these parts for you. This is for the brake shoe we were just looking at. We have this tool here. This is called a roll set. It's a spring-loaded device which makes the rivet form. This device here, these are called the jaws. And the rivets come down the track here and into the jaws. And the device there, you can see a tool there, that's called a driver. And that's the mechanism which pushes the rivet through the jaws and pushes it down and forms it. Okay, what you're looking at here is the rivet feed system. This is the track through where the rivets feed. We've got some rivets here. These are uh, six millimeter or quarter inch rivets for the brake lining that we just saw. Your rivets would actually be a little bit smaller than that and they'd be self-piercing rivets, but they're pretty much the same. They go in the top here. Okay, and you can see that they're lined up here, ready for the machine to operate. When the machine does operate, there's a little mechanism here which releases one rivet at a time into the jaws. And you can see there, there's a rivet in the jaws, ready to go. The machine is driven by a mechanical flywheel here. This creates the inertia which drives the machine. And you can see that it's connected to an electric motor. So you're going to need a, a single phase or a three phase electrical supply and um, an air supply as well. It's belt driven, we've taken the guards off so as you can see and what Mart is going to do is just move around here and you can see how the flywheel connects in a very simple mechanism to the front of the machine. Okay, so we're back at the front of the machine, I'll just take this guard off so you can see the mechanism inside. This is a toggle lever arrangement and if I operate the machine you can see how it works. Marty, if you just zoom in on this area here. Okay. What we would do is uh, put your components here, so they're now on top of the roll set. You would actually have a slightly different roll set to the one that's on here, and it would be designed for your job. But if you take a look, Marta, at the uh, tools there, all you do is you put the components on, line them up to where you want them, and then press the button and that's it. That would then put a rivet in. Uh, so, Mr. Ted, I hope that gives you a good idea as to how these machines work. Like I said, this is a Milford 410, so it isn't identical to the RS2000 that we're looking at for your application, but the function and all the principles of operation are exactly the same. If there's any more information you need, please let either myself or Marta know, and we can take more pictures of this, or we can invite our colleagues at Orbit Forum in the United States to uh, uh, shoot some movie for you uh, for the information you need.
Okay, thank you.